If the company's e-tron family of vehicles is any indication, the future of Audi is all electric. This vehicle, which will make its debut at the 2021 Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance, is a stunning two-seat Grand Touring Roadster, and it hides some pretty clever modern technology under the skin. Before I spoil any of that though, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media at MotorOne.com. The first thing you notice about the Sky Sphere is how big and imposing it is, and that's by design. Audi actually took inspiration from the 1937 Horch Roadster that won the 2009 Pebble Beach Concorde Elegance for this vehicle's overall proportions and decidedly rear bias bodywork. However, other than that, this thing is not a retro redux. It is all new. You see that up front with a version of the Audi single frame. Obviously, it's no longer a grill because this is an EV and it doesn't necessarily have the same cooling requirements, so Audi updated it with these fantastic LED accents up front. These also serve as little animations. For example, if you are turning or if you're approaching the vehicle and unlocking it, these will kind of light up in a cool choreographed ballet as we've seen from other Audi vehicles. This low, beautiful hood, which actually hides a pretty spacious frunk, devolves into these fantastically peaky Coke bottle fenders. They also sort of recall another vehicle from Audi's past, the original Quattro of the 1980s. You see that in the front and the rear fenders, which kind of submarine into this fantastic door shape. The whole thing just looks phenomenal. And from the rear, it all tapers to this beautiful point that kind of recalls the boat tail speedster look of the 1930s. It's just fantastic, it's glorious, it doesn't look retro, but at the same time, it definitely calls back to Audi's past, and it just looks the absolute business. Most interestingly, though, is this vehicle's ability to literally change shape. Thanks to a series of actuators on the front axle, the wheelbase can shrink by about 10 inches, turning this car from a spacious and comfortable grand touring vehicle to a sporty and nimble two-seat roadster. Audi calls this sport mode and the longer version GT mode. What's more, GT mode is also capable of level four autonomy, hiding the steering wheel and the pedals up under the dash to create a spacious and airy cabin. The interior of the Audi Sky Sphere concept is nearly as impressive as the exterior. It's trimmed in wall-to-wall -wall blue agave microfiber and vegan leather, giving it an eco-friendly feel that also pays homage to the California coastline. Sustainably sourced eucalyptus appears on the door panels, as well as intricate Art Deco details. A full-width screen on the dashboard offers plenty of information, and the steering wheel and driver portion of the screen motor forward in sport mode to give the vehicle a more intimate, cockpit-like feel. The Sky Sphere is a bit unusual for an Audi, but very appropriate to the vehicle's 1930s inspiration. It's actually rear-wheel drive, with a rear-mounted electric motor sending more than 600 horsepower to those wheels. Audi quotes a zero to 60 time of about four seconds, and thanks to an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack, they're targeting a WLTP range of 310 miles. The Sky Sphere is one of three upcoming Audi concept cars. The next to debut will be the Grand Sphere flagship luxury vehicle, followed by an Urban Sphere, which will be perfect for crowded city centers. They preview the styling and technology that we can expect to see from the Four Rings in the future, although we do think some features like the extending wheelbase might get left on the cutting room floor. Regardless, if future Audis include the level four autonomy or the positively stunning styling of this Sky Sphere concept, we're all in for a treat.